This strike that is shutting down ports across the East Coast. Tens of thousands of dock workers walking off the job. That leaves tons of cargo out at sea and could affect what you pay for a lot of different items. And the thing is, the duration is really important. The longer this strike lasts, the bigger the hit will be on the economy. Food, electronics, even medicine, all at risk. So let's bring Doug Flynn in on this from Flynn Zito Capital Management, economic impact of what, you know, we said yesterday could be a big story. You know, five billion a day they're saying, but like I said, yeah. duration, duration, duration. Um, we could put up for, with this for a few days, but when does it become a real, real problem, do you think? They'll definitely try to move some of this stuff to the West Coast. Some, some firms stockpiled in advance of this, but that'll only last a little while. Eventually it's gonna hit you. And you know, you, you look at the top companies, the top importing companies in the United States, they're companies like Walmart, Ikea, Samsung, even Bob's Discount Furniture. A lot of these companies import a, a ton of merchandise. So they're going to be impacted first because the amount of importing that they do, but it does trickle into your, your food. You start to see these things become more scarce the longer it goes. And the head of the union has made no bones about it. They're, they're going to get as much of this as they can, or they will just absolutely shut it down. And even if they, the government gets involved, they will slow play this. So they're, mm -hmm. they're taking advantage of the opportunity right now, right before the election, to, to get what they can. See some of the goods that could be affected, and it's widespread. I mean, it's, this is the whole East Coast, basically. There aren't other options than these ports. And the demands are pretty big, Doug. 77% wage increase over six years. They want automated equipment banned. And, mm -hmm. you know, like you see in many of these negotiations, you want improved health care. But, you know, I don't know the ins and outs of this, but that's a, yeah. that sounds like a lot, right? And then, and then you start to think maybe this won't go on for a while. I mean, they are known to be well paid, but 77% increases over six years. You know, if inflation is down to 3%, times six years, that's only about 18%. So they're looking to get way ahead of that. Yep. Uh, and maybe they won't get all of it, but obviously they're, they're, it's a big ask, but they do control a lot. And the thing that's really interesting to me is the automation. They're so worried about the fact that probably automation can do a lot of these jobs that they're trying to ban it. That's one of their demands is to ban it. Mm -hmm. Now, they may just be able to limit it, uh, but that's very telling. They know that uh, obviously, robots and other things can come in here and take away. So yep. they're, they're trying to keep like that so many in, other uh, industries, but exactly. that's uh, that are dealing with the exact same issues. Um, final thought on the breaking news. We're going to go back to our coverage now for the Middle East at a moment once we uh, get done with you, Doug. But what about oil? Uh, it spiked. You know, it was a pretty big spike when the headlines started crossing about the Iranian missiles. Yeah. But then I saw it settled. It settled okay. It wasn't it wasn't as crazy at the end of the day. Uh, this is what typically happens. I mean, it is up about about three percent today. Yeah. Uh, it is down about 10% from a year ago. So just putting things in perspective. But a 3% move is kind of the normal when something escalates. What happens is, it, the more important thing is what happens next. Uh, what's the response? How big is it? Is there contagion? Does it start to really escalate to more of a regional war? That's where you'll see the mm -hmm. more prolonged increases. And then people are going to see it at the pumps. And you're going to feel it. And that really puts a damp damper right. on GDP and the growth of the, of the country. That's so exactly the discussion careful. we're about to have. Jonathan Conriquez, General Wesley Clark, and others are coming up. Doug, thank you. It's closing bell time.